So Masaki Kano is JP Morgan's chief economist in Japan. I'm pleased to say he joins me live now from Tokyo. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, I wanted to start by asking you um, about these figures showing that Japan's big manufacturers were actually very confident about the economic outlook before the quake struck. I'm thinking that the post-quake number is going to show something very different. Right. Um, as uh, um, the 70% of the answers came to the BOJ before the earthquake, only 30% of the firms answered after, after the earthquake. So we expect um, the, the headline number would fall to minus 10 uh, when the BOJ uh, publishes the outcome of the uh, surveys that which the BOJ collected after the earthquake. So from what you're saying, there will have been significant damage and disruption done to manufacturing. That's what that at least is what the post-quake numbers are going to show. That's right. So the, there's a very big uh, the gap between uh, um, all the sentiment before and after the earthquake. Japan car sales suffered a record drop in March, didn't they? Automakers have been forced to close factories because of shortages of parts, electricity blackouts. Um, I think Toyota said they might delay the production of at least 500,000 vehicles in Japan. I mean, is this something to, to really be concerned about? Is this going to have a, a significant impact on car sales for the entire year? That's right. And for at least for the next month or so, the economic activities will be depressed for two reasons. One is uh, um, the disruption of the supply chains, and uh, due to which uh, the autos and the electronic industries would suffer a lot. The second is the partial uh, power outage, uh, which actually give a big damage to the firms in uh, Tokyo metropolitan areas. But after that, we expect uh, the sort of a V-shaped recovery as those uh, the drugs will be fading. You're saying that the power outages, the electricity shortages, are going to have a big negative impact on these companies. So tell me then when we are likely to see full power restored. How many? Is it going to take many months? Well, the, from, from May, we assume that the outage would be over. But in the summertime, probably in and after July, as a result of the surge in the demand for uh, the air conditioning, uh, the outage would re be reintroduced. And as a result, uh, the economic activities, especially the business activities, uh, will be depressed again. So the full recovery should be expected after uh, late September or so. So with that in mind, will many companies then face funding challenges as they struggle to fix the damage, pay wages while production is suspended? Right, and also the power outage um, causes uh, the dep depression of the consumer sentiment. And as uh, we uh, train services only uh, uh, limited, uh, uh, available only limitedly, and so people go back home earlier, and uh, the, some amusement parks were closed, and there lots of the, uh, the negative impact on the consumption. So we hope that the outage should be over shortly. Does that mean we could see bankruptcies? Uh, no, I don't think so, because uh, the BOJ uh, gives uh, more than enough liquidity to the banking system, and as long as the liquidity is full, uh, the bankruptcy is quite unlikely. But over time, we, sh we should keep a close eye on uh, uh, the corporate the profit, and uh, unless the demand recovers quickly, the, uh, the corporate uh, activities will remain uh, subdued, and uh, so the uh, the bankruptcy could be a problem, but the, as government increases the spending on infrastructure in the order of the 10 trillion yen, so we expect the, the economy will recover and the demand will be boosted in the second half of the year. Great to get your analysis. Thank you so much. Masaki Kano, Chief Economist, JP Morgan. Appreciate your time.